Number 70. The following reactions can be used to prepare samples of metals. Determine the enthalpy change under standard state conditions for each. And then we have one reaction right here. So we have two aluminums plus Fe2O3 solid yields Fe2O3, uh, sorry, Al2O3 solid plus two Fe solid. Okay, now they want us to find the enthalpy change. Remember, enthalpy is delta H. So we have to find the delta H for this whole equation, and they want it under standard state conditions. This is a disguise for saying, get the values in the back of a textbook. So there's going to be an appendix in the back of a textbook that has the delta H values for each component. So that's what I did for you guys. We had to go into the back of a chapter or the textbook to find out the delta H, and this little F means formation, so the amount of heat energy that's needed to form each component. And this little notch just means that it's standard, literally standard state conditions. Okay, now after you do that, we have to find out the enthalpy change for the reaction. It's a simple formula, it's this one. The delta H standard for a reaction, Rxn, is just the sum, this little symbol just means sum, aka addition, we got to add up all the delta H's of the products and then minus the sum of all the delta H of the reactants. So basically what that means is I just have to get one number for my reactant and one number for my product and then subtract them. Well, how do we do that? Well, after we get the appendix values, right, the standard values, we're going to multiply these by how many we have in the formula. Now, I already see that I have some coefficients in this equation, so that means that this is balanced. Always make sure that you have a balanced equation, guys, okay? All right, so for example, since I have two aluminums, technically I would multiply this zero by two. I have one Fe2O3, so I multiply that by one. I have one, because I don't see a number, Al2O3, so I times it by one, and then I have two, Fe, so I multiply that zero by two. Now it's aluminum plus Al2O3. Literally, there's a plus sign here. So I have to add these two numbers together. Al2O3 plus Fe, I need to add those two values together. So for the reactant side, it would just be the same number, negative 824.2. And then for the product side, it would be the same number as well, negative 1,676. Now, since I have one number for each, let's plug it into the formula. So the sum of all the products was the negative 1,676 minus the reactants, which is the negative 824.2. And it's, remember, if you're minusing by a negative, it's keep change change. So technically you're adding by a positive value as well. Throwback, throwback to like beginning Math, right? Keep change, change. See, concepts just always come back. Anyway, let's plug it in. Let's see what we get. Negative 1676 plus 824.2. So big, big exothermic, negative 851.8. Whoa. I know it's exothermic because it's a negative. That means that we're releasing heat. The units for delta H standard is kilojoule per mole, so I'm just going to attach that at the end. And now, in order for this reaction to happen, we will release 851.8 kilojoules per mole. That's a lot of heat. But anyway, that's the answer. <laughs> Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends. Tell your classmates. They may benefit from this channel as well. And I thank you so much for that. You guys rock. It's been awesome so far. Let's keep going. Let's keep learning. And yeah, I'll see you all in later lessons. Take care. Bye-bye.